Now we're at the Luzerne County Courthouse in Wilkesbury, Pennsylvania, and we're going to look at stonework, and we're going to look at it from a stonemason's point of view. Now this building was built out of Ohio sandstone. It was built out of marble in the inside and granite around the steps and the, and the water table. And we're going to take a look at stones and why masons use certain stones, where they get them from, what they're thinking, what they're using. That's just a basic idea of stonework. Now in this video we're going to look at all the different stones. Here we have coquina, we have a sample of coral, we have a sample of limestone, and over here we have all different types of what we call sandstone, and then when we get over in here we have a sample of marble, we have a couple of samples of granite, and a couple samples of slate. And these are the stones we're going to take a look at. Now people ask me, what is the difference between limestone and sandstone? Best way for me to explain it is God made this out of seashells and marine life, and God made sandstone basically out of sand. So that's the way we look at it. So this is 95% of the stone I use as a mason. And the first stone we're going to look at is coquina. Now we're in St. Augustine, Florida. This fort right here was built out of a shell stone called coquina. They quarried it. I'm going to show you a little bit more about it. Now a little bit more about coquina. You see all it is is basically seashells and it's packed real tight together. And they quarried this and they built this whole fort out of it. Well, we basically looked at coquina, and you can see the seashells in there. It's very easy to, to break. See? Falls apart easy. Coral is the same way. It's very, very soft stone. And it, it, masons do it either two ways. Either do that. And that, and that is how they make a smoother surface. Now we're in the Florida Keys in Isla Mirada, Florida. This is the Hurricane Monument, and this whole monument was built out of coral rock. But because all the keys is made out of coral, that's why they use the stone here. But it just goes to show you how different masons use different stones in different areas. Now here we have some chunks of coral. You can look at it and see what it looks like. Then we come up here, you can see the fossils inside the coral. And these guys just laid it random, just put chunks on and put it like that. Now this just shows right here how every mason does it different. And you can see the top where it was cut, these top pieces. And here it was all put in random, but flat. It has the flat look. Now here's an example where they cut it with a saw, flatten it out, and then they cut it to make a pattern stone. There's a lot of different ways to do it. We're in uh, the Keys in Florida and they make everything out of coral. This is the Coral Castle and it's in Homestead, Florida. And a couple years ago I did a little tour on it and I filmed it. So if you want a little more information now, just check it out. It's the video called Coral Castle Visit. Now here we have a couple pieces of limestone and you can see where I took this off a set of old steps where it gets pitted and it wears away just like anything especially in Pennsylvania but uh, it's a very soft stone and if you're using the point of the hammer it, it doesn't cut deep you could face it like that you don't have to hit it hard now if you want a stone to cut down you use this part of the hammer and it cuts straight down you see I'll go into that deeper with some uh, chisels later on. So now this I just carved this out with the saw just to show you how they do it in uh, on cathedrals. But it's a very soft stone. You could actually just scrape it with your screwdriver. You could get a file and file it to make it do what you want. You could saw it like this.
and that's just for an example but this is what they build uh, cathedrals out of so uh, it's a very widely used stone I wouldn't lay it on the ground in the mud but it's very widely used now here I am trimming a piece of limestone that I'm using for a step and you could check that out on my how to build step videos or I use it for a pier and you could check that video out too now this is the Cathedral of St. John's in New York City and I haven't been there for over 15 years but they did have a program where they would take young apprentices and teach them how to carve the stones uh, the building's been being built for over a hundred years uh, they stopped a couple times because of the world wars but it's still being built today and it's a good example of a limestone building now right here you can see where they use rough stones behind the facade which is going to be limestone so it's a good example of a limestone building now what I'm doing here is I'm showing you some arches on a church that are made out of limestone this church is in Piston Pennsylvania uh, but the real reason I'm showing you is because out there in New York City at the Cathedral of St. John's they had a book that was their Bible they used on how to make the stones for that cathedral it's called Modern Practical Masonry and it's on my video how to build arches so if you're interested in that look that up that's how you restore old limestone to make it look new now here's a perfect example of what happens to limestone when you lay it on the ground in Pennsylvania and it absorbs water and it freezes and it disintegrates it's okay if it's not laying on the ground but when it lays in water it'll disintegrate now we looked at coquina coral and limestone in this video and these are more semi-tropical used stones sandstone is more of a northern type of stone but is sandstone sometimes in limestone and is limestone sometimes in sandstone yes it is God didn't make everything black and white and there's an exception to every rule but uh, next time we'll get into sandstone a little deeper and this is the end of part one.